a square has four sides and the four sides are all the same length in order to be a square, right? Otherwise it'd be a rectangle or something. Um, so we know that we want to mass produce this square. We're gonna make millions of dollars by mass producing this square. And what we do is we go ahead and we set up our company. So we call in our company Square LLC. Limit liability so that way we don't get sued or something, I don't know. So what we need to do is with our square, we have to take it in and say, okay, we want to make more of these squares. So we know that our squares have a size. So there's the four sides of a square. These are all gonna be the same. And let's say, instead of side, let's say this says, this is supposed to say size. And size can be the length of one of the sides. So we have four of those. So we only need to declare that once. There's no need to say size four times. So we know that we have a size. So we go and we give our manufacturer the size. So we want to make these squares, you know, a bunch of times. Another thing we want to um, consider is that we have other properties. We have colors. So as you see now, our square is blue. We, but we do want to make squares another color. We don't want to make a bunch of the same blue squares because people like variety. We want to make people's favorite color squares so that way we sell now billions of squares. So we say that our squares also have a color. Now we start, we use this blueprint of a square, a size and the color. And what we end up doing is we start making tons of squares. So now we have a bunch of squares. Now we use this blueprint saying that size and color. So we're feeding it. The size is say four, the color is blue and they're just, they're knocking them out. Right? So then we say, okay, well, we also want to make red square squares. Now we have to do absolutely nothing to this class because we made it open enough to say that there's going to be a color. So because color is another variable that we can control for our squares, we want to say we want a slightly different color square because now we're saying that this light blue is the new thing. So we don't want to make all dark blue squares or all regular blue squares. We want to make this kind of, I don't even know what you call this color, but a light bluish green square. So we give that to that instruction to our manufacturer. We say use the same blueprint. So we're not changing anything because molds are very expensive. I've seen it on sort of shark tank a bunch of times. So I know that. So we are using the same mold, but now we're just pouring in another color and we're going to be telling it what color. Well, our manufacturer is going to tell it what color. So we keep, you know, along and we're making our squares and then we say, well, now we want, you know, bigger squares. People need bigger squares and we start making bigger squares. So now we're, we still haven't changed our mold of the, 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 the class, but we feed it. We're just telling it, okay, so now for size, I want you to double or, you know, almost double the size of the square. I want a larger square, keep it the same color. Now we can also in the same respect make a large square that's a whole nother color. And that's kind of the idea of classes. They can, there's a general kind of basis of it, of what properties does it have? So you take the properties and you can add the different values. So it doesn't have to be all the same size. It doesn't have to be all the same color. For cars, it don't have to be all the same speed, the color. Um, but it basically lays, I'm gonna use it, blueprint. It lays the blueprint out for what you want this thing to be. Now let's talk about our class and how we are going to do it for our user and for our post. Okay, so we've already done this, but we didn't do it in an object oriented way. And what I mean by that is when we created our dictionary that held our user and stored it to Firebase, we can we created this object of this user. So in this 
um, well, in Firebase, what we have is we have a bio. Each user is going to have a display, a email, a photo, and a username. So if I connect this to our square example, our square had a, just a size and a color. And that's what described the square. In this event, we're going to have our user's profile or our users be, consist of a bio, a display, an email, a photo, and a username. So to set this up, to create this class in our project, we want to remember one thing that, now just wait for it, and that is that we want to cuss. The steps that we're gonna take is we're gonna cuss, okay? And I know if you guys have been programming and getting bugs, you probably do this all the time. Yeah, but in this situation, this is how we're going to set up our class. Is we want to create a new file. This is our new class file in Swift, and we will walk through that. And this is to actually create the class, the user class. And this, uh, the class keyword is set up in most languages to identify when something is an object. So this way, you can instantiate it multiple times. You can apply it, and and it has its own uh, properties. The next thing we we're going to want to do is we we're going to want to set up our variables. So the things that we identified here as things what we, that we want our class to have, which include our bio, our display, our email, our photo, and our username. Um, we're going to set all of that up in the class. So that way a user is made up of these things is the best way to think of it. So this user is made up of these things set up the initializer. So with Swift, they there's two different ways to do this that I've seen. Um, a lot of people use structs because structs come with um, initializers built in. It's a lot less code. But I like the idea of using classes and using separate files and models to uh, create objects. So we're going to do it that way. Now, one of the things that you may be saying to yourself, if you remember, is that in our sign up, Okay, so in our sign up, we had it set up a little different. And the way we had it set up in our sign up is that in order to create a user, what we needed was actually only these three things. In the beginning, we just needed an email, we needed a photo, which was our default photo, um, and we needed a username. Later on, when we decided to allow users to update their profiles we allowed a bio and a display now there's two ways to handle that and we're going to examine both of them okay so we're going to really quickly make our user file so in our project i'm just going to do a new and file it's going to be a swift file i'm going to hit next i'm going to call it user because it's going to be the model for our user we're going to go ahead and use class which is a keyword that swift has to designate that it is going to be an object is going to be considered a model rather um we're setting up for user and we're just going to go ahead and go through this really fast and add all of the pieces Okay, so what I have here is I set up the variables that are gonna be used to define a user. So I just basically copy what we have in Firebase since this is what we have already decided that our user is going to consist of, a bio, a display, an email address, a photo, and a username. So now we just need to create the initializers for this, for all of these. So the initializer is used to ensure that the values when we create a user are um, filled in. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna start by typing init, init, and I'm just going to go ahead and put in each of these things that consist of a user. So we're gonna have a bio. All of these are strings because in Firebase, um, we will need to pass strings or other primitive types. So these are also gonna be strings, so. And this is, when, when we create, when we say a new user, these are the things that we're going to be providing the instance.
Now the second piece of this is to set, we are going to be passing in these values and what we want to do is then give them back or set them back in this user. So this user is going to be passed a bio and then we're going to say this class, this bio is going to be whatever we pass back from here. Now another thing we could do is we could split this out. So we could do this in this but get rid of the things that we won't have ahead of time which are these two things so we can either create two and then if we are doing the sign up use this one or if we're doing the profile updating the profile we would do that one but instead we're just going to do one and we're going to pass in blank value so in order to say that whatever we get in here we're going to want to populate into here we're going to call self which is this class bio is equal to our bio that we pass in this value for display the class value for display is going to be equal to the value that we pass in for display The class value for the email is going to be equal to the value that we pass in for the email. The class value for the photo is going to be the value that we pass in for the photo. And the class value for the username is going to be the value that we pass in for the username. So self is um, referring to these values the class values and these values so here is this is the same thing whatever we pass in here for bio will be saved to this bio so I hope that's not too confusing uh, in our next video what we'll do is we'll also create one for the post and we'll go back and no actually for our next video what we'll do is we'll go back into our code and update our new our user instead of just putting it into a dictionary we're going to use a class and then populate um, everything that way um, I hope this was helpful if you have any questions please leave a message below and I will see you next time